What's up guys? So I want to talk real quick, short video about the gavel. I've had this now for a little over a week. I'm loving it. Uh, a lot of you guys asked me my opinion and I gotta tell you, this thing, if you want stopping power, this has it. Um, it it's got stopping power. It's 39 to 42 joules I get, depending on how warm, obviously, your CO2 is. Um, me, I'm usually getting right around 40 joules the first couple shots. 39, 40 joules. Um, it's compact. It's got a nice weight to it. It's built tough, rugged. Uh, that's my opinion, but it, it is really well built. Um, feels like a firearm. Jewel rounds are no joke. You get hit with one of those, um, especially close quarters. Um, you got options for your reflex sight. Different, you got a nice little rail on there for different lights if you want to um i just got the i'm bad with names the viridian um one i bought but it does not have a laser it's got high medium low and strobe settings that are all programmable um and if you buy from grimberg you can you always have the option too to get the it almost looks the same as this one, but it has a green laser on it, if I remember correctly. And he has a Viridian Reflex red dot sight, which is looks almost identical to the Vortex here, um, which I actually did not know. I overlooked it somehow. I was paying attention to this probably is how I did and uh, didn't see him selling the Viridian reflex sights on there. I, it was my own fault. I overlooked it. I was paying attention to that one that they sell. Um, so, I mean, you can get the whole kit if you really wanted to. So everything comes to, at you. But I just wanted to tell you guys that this thing here, so far I have not had any issues. Once I put some more oil on the bolt and cleaned it, no issues at all. This thing is running beautiful. Um, like the craftsmanship and the, the the time that they had to have invested to design this thing, it's incredible. It really is. Uh, I mean, you're talking like for a launcher for for a heavy eight gram round that's metal and probably nylon composited magnetic. I, I haven't seen any pistols until the gavel came along that had that capability for that high of jewels. Um, where you didn't have to do anything extra to it other than like your, the rifle ones you see, the M17s. Uh, there's some other ones, a few other ones out there. I can't think of names offhand. But you guys get what I'm saying. This comes already at... 39 40 jewels um right when you get it right out the box ready to go no mods no nothing now i wanted to point out also to you guys that a lot of you have mentioned to me that you really can't afford it right now this and that i hey, i understand completely that that's that's how i was it took me a while and to get stuff paid off and to get this but um if you have a paypal account I believe if they're still doing it, I, I'm pretty sure they are. I may be wrong. And I don't know how it works on PayPal if it's based on your credit or whatnot. But a lot of people ask me and I mentioned to them that you could you can pay PayPal and you can pay like a hundred and something dollars a month until it's paid off. It, it's like, I think it's called pay in four on PayPal. So each month you pay whatever the total price is, they divide it up times four. However, that works with PayPal and then that's what you pay each month. So in a way that is nice because then you can afford to get this if you want one. Um, that's my opinion. 
I shop a lot with PayPal too, just because it's more security with it. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you guys are interested in one of these, I highly recommend getting one. Don't waste your time thinking about it because there's really, it's a, there's nothing to really think about you guys. It, this thing, the damage this is going to do to someone no matter where you shoot them with it, if you, if you have to. And with this thing, there's much power behind it. It packs. You almost want it to be last resort to use it. Um, you know, if you're in public and whatnot. Because we're, we're, we're not talking about Berna level here. And I love Berna. We're not talking about S2 level here. We're, we're talking about... You know, if, if you take the Berna and the S2 and the Gavel, we're talking about a big boy here. I mean, this thing here is capable. I, honestly, I don't really think anyone knows what for sure what this thing is capable of doing to a human body in a home defense scenario for less lethal um, or even, you know, self-defense in public. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of videos with people taking hits with this. Like with the burner, for example, there's a lot of videos of people testing out getting shot. And this thing's a big boy. This thing here means business. Um, I mean, eight gram jewel rounds. To begin with, that that spells out, use this for a serious defense situation if you need to. I mean, that, it's got 39, 40 joules. I got as high as 42 when I first got it, but it was also like 90 degrees outside and the CO2s were warm from the mail. And right after I opened it, I shot it. So that obviously heat. And temperature of CO2 is going to fluctuate. On average, now I'm getting around 40, 40, 41 joules the first one to two shots. It starts dropping there. The point is, you guys, I wanted just to let you guys know a little update on this. I'm going to be making some more videos. Uh, I have some things that I take care of this week. And I, w I have plans to make try to put out at least two more videos shooting with this to show you guys. Um, I'm not going to ruin it and say what I'm going to be doing. So look out for those videos. But if you guys want one of these, for whatever reason, you guys take me for my word on things, and I, I greatly respect that. But like I tell you guys, get what's right for you. But if you're going to take my advice, and, or my opinion, I should say, this gavel, it's a game changer, okay? This, this thing, it's on a whole new level. What Grimberg built here is on a whole new level from any other pistol compact. This is as compact as it's going to get for, I'm assuming, uh, for the gavel. Um, it's a game changer. I, I don't... I don't even know what to say about this anymore. There's so much to, to say about this thing. I mean, this thing has the power... It's it's got the reliability. It's loud, which a lot of you may not realize. Something being loud alone, it, and when you're getting a shot with it, it, is a terrifying experience. So you know you, you got power, you got reliability, you got the loudness factor to it. You got the fact that it looks like a pistol. Because there's no CO2 right here. And the capability of heavy rounds, 8 gram Grimberg jewel rounds. And the option for a reflex sight. And also an option. I believe these V2s, um, you can use 12 gram or 16 gram uh, threaded CO2. I may be wrong on that, but I believe on his website, 
if I remember right, you can use 12 or 16 gram, which I don't know why you'd want to use a 12 gram anyway, but you have that option. So this thing comes ready right out the box and it means business. Um, you know, <laughs> I was telling a friend the other day real quick, I just want to throw this out there, it's kind of funny. I was show him, showing him this, he was checking it out, he thought it was pretty cool. But he's not too much for less lethal, he's a firearms guy and that's it, which I believe there's a place for less lethal, more so than lethal force um, out there nowadays. That's my that's my thought. I mean, but you know, he he said the gavel. He says he says he asked me what's the first thing when you think about when you hear the word gavel, and I said I don't know. And I'm sitting there thinking, I'm thinking, the Grimberg gavel. And he says, the first thing I'm thinking about is the judge, the gavel. So I kind of, I kind of thought that that's probably not how Grimberg meant it, but that was kind of, uh, it was kind of funny how he mentioned that because as serious as this thing is with the impact it it, it, it delivers. You know, I kind of joked with him and told him after he pointed that out, I said, well, then I'll just let the gavel be the judge when it comes to self-defense. So that was just kind of a little joke between us there, but that was, that was, I never really thought about that. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd throw this video out there for you guys and let you know, you know, if you have a PayPal account and you're hesitating or not, I know... Prices vary from everyone. That's how it is with me. Um, but if you can break those payments up and pay them for it, if you have PayPal, if they allow you to, then, you know, that that's one way for you guys who want to get one of these who can't pay it all at once. Um, and also, I don't think PayPal adds interest to those payments. I don't believe they do. Like I said, I don't know 100% on how all that PayPal works with the paying for, but um, I believe they don't charge you interest for that. It just They just take it right out of your bank account or your credit card monthly. So I just wanted to throw that out there in this video, you guys, and let you guys know how, I, how I'm feeling about this after probably about a week or so now having it and firing it a lot of times. I'm glad I got a lot of CO2s from Grimberg that I purchased because <laughs> I'm going to need them. Um, so if you guys are interested in one of these, you know, I'm not getting anything from making this video. Um, Grimberg, they're not sending me anything, which is completely fine. No problem. I just don't want... People leaving comments, you know, oh, he's affiliate for them or, oh, he's getting something from that. That's not the case. You know, you guys who follow my channel, I like to tell you my thoughts on what I have. That's just the way I am. The only affiliate I am is Shadow Defensive and they got good holsters for the burners. Check those out. So, oh, and one more thing real quick. So a lot of you have asked me. If Shadow Defensive will be making holsters for the gavel, that short answer for that is no, uh, because Grimberg makes holsters for the gavel, so he's leaving that be. So if you guys were want to get a holster, go to Grimberg and get a holster from him. So I'm going to be getting one eventually here. I, I need one of those, so... Hopefully soon I'll get a holster for my right side. As you guys know, I'm not a fan of abdominal carry. All those shadow defensive holsters are pretty comfortable when you get used to them. So the Grimberg holsters, I'm I'm pretty sure those are going to be very comfortable also. So that's it for this video, you guys. Hope I answered some more of your questions with some of the comments and emails you guys send me. 
I'm not no pro on everything with this. So if some of you want to leave a comment, if you know some things I left out, or if you have the gavel, I'd like to know your guys' thoughts because, you know, hey, it's a game changer. It, it, it's a hundred. It's it's beyond a hundred percent game changer with the power this thing packs. I mean, this. Now I'm rambling on, but this thing is badass, you guys. I'm telling you. I mean, this. This will stop someone. I'm just gonna leave it there. Is my mind's racing every time I hold this thing, thinking about it. Um. So yeah, if you guys are interested, get one today. If you have PayPal, check in to pay them for if that's easier for you guys to get. And uh, this thing's bad in a good way. And if you have, if you're a woman, especially really quick, and if you're afraid to have a firearm, this is going to be probably... The only, and I'm not going to compare it to a firearm, but as far as less lethal goes inside a pistol, aside from a taser, and I'm talking about like just shooting projectiles out of it, the Grimberg Gavel Launcher is going to be the most powerful out there that I have seen and have even heard about um, and now own. So even for us guys over 40, If you're looking for less lethal, this is gonna this is gonna get the job done. Um, even if you have a firearm, if you hit someone, especially if you use the gavel before your firearm uh, in a self defense situation, I'm pretty sure. I'm not even gonna say what I'm gonna say is people will hold me to that and take it the wrong way, but if you use this before lethal force, I'm pretty sure with the power this has. It'll just be a little bit more in your favor um, for self-defense because if the power from this didn't stop someone, which I do not see how it won't, literally. Um, yeah. Because the only one i seen take a, a hit center mass was hard to hurt his channel. And let me tell you, I give that guy a lot of respect because dude took one right to the chest I actually took a little short. I made a short off his video. I'm sure he wouldn't mind. And that dropped him right down to the ground. I don't know how far the guy was that shot him. In the video, I want to say maybe about 20 feet. But uh, it knocked him down. And that dude, if you watch his channel, he, he does a lot of tests. A lot of, almost every launcher he gets, he tests on himself. So, Yeah. So that's it, guys. I'm done rambling on about this in a good way. Um, like I said, I can talk about this for hours. But get you one today. You will not regret it. If you regret it, I don't understand how you would. Because this is, this is next level. This is next level for the less lethal community in a pistol form. So like, share, subscribe, hit those thumbs up. As always, thanks for watching. And look out for some videos coming later this week, probably towards the middle to end of this week. I'm going to be shooting some things up and uh, see what damage we can do. So thanks for watching. Stay 511, you guys.